In fact, the only thing I love more than a Jean-Claude is my dinner parties. <laughs> Kitties, is there anything more sublime than hosting 12 of your nearest and dearest for an evening of good chat? That's what we do here. We dish. Who's in, who's out, who's on top? Who's on bottom? Who's on top but really wants to be on the bottom? <laughs> it's the most delicious gossip you've ever heard. I love gossip, don't you? It's like mother's milk to me. It's the lube by which this town slips it in. The whole place would grind to a slow, agonizing, dry hump without gossip. Like I always say, if you can't say anything nice about someone, come sit by me. <laughs> Jean was an early client of mine, an early believer. One of the best actors I know, incapable of being false on the screen. We hear about this movie, it's perfect for him. The next rung up the ladder is the part of Popeye Doyle in The French Connection. I try to land it, but Jean's never opened a movie as the lead. He doesn't scream movie star handsome, so it's the definition of a hard sell. I go to work. I start calling. I'm on the phone five times a day to Billy Friedkin, the director. I'm on the phone hourly to Fox, the studio. They tell me, no. I hear, eh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, they're pitching it to every single person in town. Paul Newman turns it down. Steve McQueen turns it down. Robert Mitchum turns it down. James Caan and Peter Boyle turn it down. I'm pitching Gene like a motherfucker with every pass. Cha-ching. No say. Finally, one morning, my spy at Fox tells me they're about to make the offer to, oh, wait for it, this is true, Jackie Gleason. <laughs> This is the last fucking straw, right? Now they're just slapping my tits. <laughs> Bobby calls me an hour later. Mengele. <laughs> I hear Faye's hard to work with. What? Compared to Hanoi Jane? <laughs> And we want 250,000, you fucker. 75 grand or I'm calling Jane. Fuck you, we're taking the Arthur Penn movie. Fuck you, I'm calling Jane. Slam, slam. <laughs> I spend an hour pretending to think about it. And I call Bobby. Bobby, I spoke to Faye. She's crazy hot to work with Jack, so we'll take the crummy 75 G. We got a deal. We got a deal. Well, guess what? There was no Arthur Penn movie. I made it up. Ha! <laughs> guess what? Fonda turned us down yesterday. Ha! <laughs> Julie Harris. You know how much I love this lady, right? Recently, she's not so hot. Time happens, right? East of Eden was a long time ago. Who's Julie Harris? But she's desperate to, pick, to play Mary Todd Lincoln in this TV thing. So I go to the Met. I try everything. I drive over there. I talk to the network. I talk to the director. I offer deals. I offer bribes. I go flat out. No good. Too old. Not sexy enough. <laughs> like that famous sex kitten, Mary Todd Lincoln, right? <laughs> So I have to tell Julie. We have lunch, so I can do it in person. I'm dreading it. I tell her, well, the director has a hard on for whoever they cast. Uh, nothing personal, 
nothing to do with you. She looks at me. She knows. The smart ones always know.